All right, welcome back to another episode of, well, not Orcs Farming Valley, of uh, Nomad. And, well, in Nomad, our, uh, we had a little bit of an accident last time where half of our base got blown up by hostile mana beams from the sky when we set a reactor inside a place where we shouldn't have set a reactor. Uh, last episode had some problems, is I guess the short of it, and now would be the chance to rebuild, but... In my long experience of uh, playing a lot of way too much Sims and having the Sims crash on me repeatedly in corrupt save files, I've learned that it's better not to rebuild things when things break. It's better to use it as an excuse to redecorate and try something new. So today, we are making something new out of the ruins of what came before. I still probably want to get the basic stuff set up, but I'm going to start figuring out new block palette and so on. I might do some more stuff with that tree over there. I mean, it's hard to tell it's a tree anymore, but uh, let's get to that. All right, I've uh, set up a few uh, wood samples on the beach here. Uh, this is the various uh, living wood. So I really like the glimmering living wood, but unfortunately, I think the regular living wood is a bit too dark for it to show up on recording. This is the dream wood, which I get through throwing the living wood through uh, the portal. Uh, it might be a little bit blue, but I do like the shimmering option. We can combine this with uh, basically the Ride of the Bifrost and Glass to basically make color-changing planks, but sadly it's only planks. If this or this could be color-changing, I might go for that, but uh, as it is, no. These are the hill cherry leaves. I really like the hill cherry leaves. Uh, I've used them before. I might use them again. I'm not as much a fan of the cherry wood. Uh, the cherry wood is applied in the door. Uh, or the logs. I mean, this is nice, but I don't think it's what I want to go for right now. But the leaves are, I think, pretty wonderful. This, I really like the uh, the green of the planks. The leaves aren't bad on the desert acacia. This also comes to mind as this is going to be perfect for killing people with the Lorax. So I might do some stuff with that later. Uh, I don't know about this episode or not. Uh, just a perfect kill uh, structure right there. Uh, but, yeah, the actual desert acacia, I mean, it's got a green for the uh, top of it, but it doesn't really jump out. I love the texture of this bark, and the leaves are pretty good too. The door's alright, but this bark, the teak bark, uh, is pretty amazing, so I might do something with that. This I'm just not a fan of as all, at all. Uh, it just seems sort of weird for me, Paduak. Now there's others that I don't have unlocked yet, so I might do something with that. I think this might be my favorite bark right here, the larch wood. And the leaves aren't bad at all. Um, the actual planks, uh, you know, hit or miss. Uh, it seems we have some visitors. But I think I want to probably do something with uh, the larch wood and the hill cherry leaves, and I want to see how that looks together. So I'm going to assemble that and uh, basically Frankenstein a tree real quick and see if we like that. All right, so I've made some fake trees to see how they look overall. Um, this, I think the uh, laying it out the dreamwood actually has a good bit of potential. I really actually like all three of these, uh, especially the mundane larch leaves. However, I'm not sure how good they'll look in the Spectral Realm. So I'm going to uh, take some of these over the Spectral Realm and test them there. The Teak, I think, works with the Mundane Larch, but I don't think it works that well with the Hill Cherry. And this, I think the Bark is too repetitive, uh, the Larch, unfortunately. So I'm going to take the Dreamwood and the Teak over to the Spectral Realm and see how I like how it looks uh, and go from there. Alright, so um, did various tests, checking out the different how it looks in the Spectral Realm. I think the contrast is maybe a bit too high uh, with the pinkish red leaves. Ultimately, what I think I'm going to go for is this some combination of mundane larch leaves, dreamwood, and then uh, just mundane spruce leaves. I think works pretty well. I'm going to do some alternating pattern. Why well, not? Because I do like patterns. And I don't want it to be, just be all mundane larch for floors. So. I'm going to start uh, getting more Dreamwood and then swapping things out and rebuilding the tree and whatnot. Maybe getting rid of the chisel and bit stuff that I'm no longer using. Okay, I'm back sometime later. I have cleared out this mess at the bottom here, and I'm going to put some new stuff in here. Uh, but I wanted to show off what I'm doing so far. I'm probably going to trim this down uh, with some chisel and bits and also trim these down, uh, depending. I might rest up on... rest stuff on them, but I think this is starting to look pretty good as far as a color scheme for now. Oh, I just remembered I wanted to move this over here, so let me go ahead and do that and put some other things into place, because that way this is not getting transformed by that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to move that over, 
and we'll see how it looks then. And uh, add a few things below and maybe extend this up a floor, or maybe start extending it out. Okay, I think I've got the basic uh, color palette pretty much done, at least for the first floor. Uh, I swapped out the Midori for purple hardened clay. Um, and I've got these in. I'm going to make this into a ladder. It's going on up. Uh, but I'm only going to make basically one ladder. But I'm still going to use these as sort of like support beams and also to break up the uh, Dreamwood. I'm um, probably going to replace this with Dreamwood over time. Not too worried about it now. I have Shimmer Rock for the elevator. And it actually kind of works while moving around. And. Oh. Oh right, okay, I guess we lost we lost Linnell's to replace in time. But uh, yes, yeah, so I think this is working in so far. I might actually do a bit of a kitchen over here now that I'm thinking about it. All right, so I've gathered to just get the supplies for this. I want to do a little bit with cooking for blockheads. Uh, it works pretty well with Pam's Harvest Craft and just vanilla Minecraft cooking or anything that just has complicated cooking recipes by basically making a book that shows, well, what you can make out of the current ingredients. Apparently I can make nothing out of my current ingredients. That's okay, I'm going to make a better book. Uh, let me see, I've got my assembly halo here. Uh, I think it's two. There we go. Better book. This will actually craft things. Then I want to make it into a actual table. There we go, cooking table. Now I can put this down, say, right here. And this will... Tell me what I can cook with what I have in my inventory and what I have in stored and attached recipes and whatnot. Now this has multiple other pieces. It has the oven, which lets you cook things. It has the fridge that lets you store things. It has the sink, which we've already done wonderful things with. Uh, also the cow in the jar is technically part of the multi-block kitchen. And you've got various tool racks. So I'm basically going to, ooh, they have a black kitchen counter, interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna basically work this in and basically build a little kitchen, a little tiny kitchen in here, as much as I can fit in here. Uh, so we can basically uh, cook things easily and have prepared food, and so we don't have to rely on pork chops forever. All right, and we are back in our multi-block kitchen. I ended up needing a little bit more space, so I buried uh, the cow in here. I figured it's already cramped enough. It won't get any worse, uh, and, you know, it kind of looks a little nice to have this little tucked away thing. Now, as you see, I have various tool racks that basically put the various Pam's Harvest Craft tools that are needed for cooking. You can store them up here. You can also store them in here in various slots and it'll dis display. Um, here's a sink from before. Here's our cooking table. This shows us everything we can make out of our current uh, stuff. And here is all our food and storage, which actually isn't that much now that I think about it. Uh, but let's go ahead and make something while we've got this open. Fried egg, scrambled egg, salt. Salt could be interesting. Uh, toast is overdone. Let's see what else we can do. Cheese, let me see this recipe. That doesn't make any sense for cheese at all. Eggs and milk? I don't know. That's weird. Um, I'm going to make some flour. Let's make one of those and then see what we can do with the flour. Make batter. That sounds good. Can do anything with the batter? I don't know. Um, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to boil an egg. There we go. We have a boiled egg to eat. Now... I want to sort of step things up a little bit, and this, I made this for a specific reason. I want it very easy to make uh, crafting for cooking ingredients, because really we need to replace this system. This system is out of date, our mana system, uh, and by that I mean I'm tired of making little uh, hydrogenias to fill this up for a little bit of mana. And it was nice at first, and it was uh, a lot easier than using, uh, what's it called, um, endo flames or exo flames, whichever one it is that makes mana. We've got better mana-making methods, but I think we can replace this with a relatively reliable mana-making method. We're going to make some cakes. We're going to see what we can do to automate some cakes as we, well, set up our new base. I, mean, I might not get the whole cake system done today, but that's the goal in mind that I'm doing the redesign for, is to make cake-making easy. Uh, that's our, the, the vital purpose we have turned our Spectral Realm to, cakes. And we'll, you know, we'll experiment more of this eventually. But not right now. Cakes are right now. All right, so I went and made fertilized dirt. Uh, it's not too hard to make. You can make it out of uh, zombie flesh, uh, bone meal, and dirt. It's from random things. And then I've got swarm from actually additions. Let me see if I can place it on there. Mm, no. Let me see if I can till this and then place it on here. No, okay. 
I'm gonna see if I can get some conventional soil. Uh, well, I've got more of this. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can just go ahead and put this down right here and see what that does. Uh, I don't know if I like the earthworm overall. In theory, it speeds everything up. I don't know if it'll speed things up on the fertilized dirt or not. I guess I can run some tests in a second. Uh, I've got some coffee beans right here. Can make that into coffee seeds, or do I just plant the beans? I can find out. Uh, let me try to put it in the dirt. No. Okay. We've got some rice seeds in here. Let us try to plant them and see if this thing boosts its growth any. Alright, I'm going to watch the rice grow for a bit. Uh, you guys don't necessarily need to see all this. Okay, so it does look like the uh, earthworm does uh, grow the rice up. Uh, I did see the occasional uh, bone meal uh, animation there. So that is working just fine. Uh, we do actually have some light cast from here onto these crops so they can potentially grow. Now, I tried out a few automated users. I actually ran out of the supplies to make this one. Uh, so I'm trying to make a different one in the middle. It uses some grid power, but we've got extra of that, so I'm fine. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and get some bone meal. I'll try to load these up and see how this works. And let me see, do I have any more seeds? Pumpkin seeds, I don't want that. Rice seed sounds perfect. Rice, we can use a lot of things. Now, I'm not going to use rice forever, but I am low on rice. Okay. Let's put some uh, bone meal in there. Some bone meal in there. And some bone meal in there. Okay. All right, the middle one seems to be working perfectly. The other ones are having problems. Use. Okay. Um... Use. Always on. There we go. Alright, yes. And then that ran out of bone meal. That is fine. Alright, so we've got our little auto farm set up. I'm going to do uh, some sort of uh, vacuum chest maybe in the middle. With then some chests uh, connected to it to collect all the drops. And basically we can use this for a little mini farm that doesn't use up that big of a footprint. And we can use that to get uh, basically f vegetables to then use in our kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and get an item collection system set up and going, and we can go from there. Okay, so I put some chests up there, uh, some wooden storage crates just so I can source uh, some stuff. It looks like I can basically have these get fertilized just from the earthworm passively. I'm just doing this manually for now. Then this is an auto harvesting, but these are interesting. Why? Okay. Uh, generic click, maybe? Let's see if this works. We might have to swap them out for uh, the autom Ziklik automator users. Now let's see if this works. Will this harvest? Hmm, no. That's alright. We'll worry about that uh, later on. Uh, let me just put half of them in here. So we basically have a passive farm uh, that we can then make more active by putting some bone meal in. No. Yeah, the middle one's caused problems. We can work with it. Okay. Well, at least while it has bone meal in it uh, or fertilizer, it can uh, auto harvest. That's good. Now, our stock of vegetables is a bit low, and we need to find the various uh, gardens by Pam's Harvest Craft. Uh, and try and get a bunch of vegetables from there. We're, there's two vegetables in particular we're looking for, and those are lettuce and cucumbers. But let me see, can I... Okay. That does not work to harvest, and we do not get lettuce or cucumbers. I'm going to keep searching to find out what I can... Uh, and then break all of these. See if there's a way to pick them up. I remember in 1.7 you could right-click on them? No, not anymore. Okay, I'll just punch them, and we've got lettuce. I'm going to keep searching for cucumber, and you know... Might as well bring the rest of the vegetables because we might have a use for them eventually. 
Uh, and but lettuce and cucumber are the big ones we need. Uh, nothing yet. All right, I'm gonna keep searching. All right, and we just got cucumber, so I'm gonna go back and start growing these. Oh, actually, there's one thing I need to stop by and pick up first. Appetite ore. Now this stuff you find in great abundance in the world and at uh, actually very high, uh, very high levels, very high altitudes uh, compared to every other ore. And you get a bunch of it, and it gives you a bunch of XP, and I, I guess in previous run-throughs, I've kind of thought of it as a waste, because it just seems to take up a lot of inventory, and it's just bone meal, right? Well, it's... you can get so much of it, basically, that you never actually really need bone meal. Uh, so I'm just going to mine this out. This is the arena where it was exposed. And then I'm going to fill it in with... Uh, Gonna go with hardened stone for now. We'll see how that looks as far as a sort of contrast and how it complements the stone itself. It's looking nice so far, but the important thing is we got the appetite out of here, and we are going to cause so many things with this appetite. If I can just avoid falling for a moment, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Blends in pretty well. So I'm gonna look around for more appetite, uh, and then we can see how ridiculous this gets. Alright, so I've got more appetite, and I made my cucumber into a cucumber seed. Now, if I remember, appetite you use with two things of sand, and we can easily get that from uh, our sag mill. So, two sand, one appetite, makes eight fertilizer. That was just one stack of appetite, we've got more appetite. Appetite is, I believe, affected by fortune as well. I mean, we're hitting those, uh, we hit multiple deposits with fortune three. So now we have all of this. Uh, let's just start with this to begin with. And put in a single cucumber seed. Okay. Five cucumbers already, which should be enough to Oh, I made too many seeds. That's all right. I don't care. That's odd. Did it get sucked up too quick? Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with my farming setup. All right. I'm going to see what I can do about that. All right. Yeah. So it looks like it's the central uh, mechanical user from extra utilities that I'm having trouble with. The ones from cyclic seem to work overall, um, but this seems to somehow unplant uh, all three of these. Oh, hmm, that's odd. I think just putting that down. My system still has some errors, but uh, it is working pretty well overall. So I'm just gonna just gonna destroy the middle section for now and see if that works better. It's odd. It didn't even. Oh, right, because it went up here. Okay. <laughs> just put some sand down or something, and there we go. Oh, that looks ugly. Um. Uh... I'm just not going to plant anything there. How about that? And we'll go from there. Okay. All right. So I've done a bunch of farming. Got cucumbers and lettuce. Uh, I can see a pretty nice stocked uh, freezer there. Now uh, we can go over here. We are going to make something. We are going to make, if we can find it, a salad. Now salad uses lettuce and any vegetable. Uh, so, you know, including, well, not any vegetable, it uses carrots, onions, or cucumbers. Cucumbers are important for this. When you're cutting board, which is really easy to make, uh, just a little bit of iron or copper, and then some wood. So, I'm going to make a bunch of these. Can I still make? Okay, yes. A bunch of spring salads. That seems like a good amount of spring salads. Now this opens up the option to make cucumber salad, which is again a cucumber with a spring salad. So you need twice as many cucumbers as you have uh, lettuce, but... Did I run out of one thing or the other? Yeah, I ran out of cucumbers, but that's okay. I can put my spring salad away. Uh, they're a little hard to tell apart. Cucumber salad, cucumber salad, cucumber salad. Cucumber salad is a light meal, or uh, it heals, or it heals your hunger for eleven, sh eleven food. Now, if you compare that to say, steak, only does it for eight. So basically, you're able to get a really good food supply with cucumbers, lettuce, 
And essentially in the end, just a single ingot and some wood. Now, if you want to make a lot of it, you get some appetite and some sand, and you can make all the food you'll ever need, essentially. And good food, and we don't need to worry about cooked mutton or whatever else we were eating before. Now, I'm going to stash this away and put away my garden supplies up here. Uh, but with that, I think I might want to switch these over to wheat to get ready for making a cake for later. But for right now, uh, cucumber's good for now. I think for now, that's probably enough. Uh, we've got uh, something started. We've got a little kitchen set up. We've got a little bit of uh, garden salad made. We have a basic design for the bottom layer, and I think we can expand upon this design and start to customize the upper few layers and really organize things a lot better and really take advantage of the time we blew up our base with mana blasts. But uh, we're going to head out for now, and nom 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 nom. Eat your vegetables.